River Waveney runs along the Norfolk-Suffolk border from Bungay to Lowestoft. And the trick to travelling around Norfolk is to realise it's cut by three rivers. So you've got, in the south of Norfolk, you've got the Waveney, and then you've got the Yar from Yarmouth, and then the Bure goes up that way. So if you find yourself on the wrong side of the river, it will be a long drive to the next bridge. For example, between Great Yarmouth and Wroxham. And, oh, forget it. Now, to Fred M and other Australians watching, a beautiful blue sky in March. That would normally mean it's lovely and warm. <laughs> it's five degrees, five degrees Celsius. That's... And sorry I missed Desmond O'Brien when I passed through Deerham because he was on a mission up north at the time. But I'm heading over the next two weeks down to the south of Essex to pick up a solar panel somewhere near, I don't know, Chelmsford, North London Way. So, if any of you want to come and say good eye, that's where I'll be. Oh, yeah, write down in the comments what village you're in so I, I can pop through. Oh, lovely. Primrose. And regular viewers will be pleased to know that I gave those primroses a fixed nitrogen supplement. Uh, but I didn't film it because it didn't come out of the ensuite bathroom. That was a, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, the trouble with walking through East Anglia is it is a continuous lowland marsh. So you never know when you're going to get your feet wet. <laughs> They're definitely keen to prevent a Darwin Award going on here. Spring is eking its way out of a freezing cold winter. Your conditions are acceptable. Not sure if I can fit it all in there. That old model Transit Connect with the tinted windows and high roof, that would be mm, mm, a dream paradise hotel for me. Guys, I found Brett. He's been hiding out in Bungay all this time. And he says he's got a Peugeot expert, but it's actually a Citroen dispatch. What a cheeky little decoy. Eighteen forty eight. Beautiful mix of flint and brickwork. Widows of tradesmen. I now know what that word means, and so do you. Staying on the 
subject of van life, this is the Fiat Noblo multi-jet, but it's not the L2 version, so it's no bigger than mine. Very rare, you find recent graves in churchyards. What? A beautiful van. Here's a telephone box with an actual telephone in. The thing is, does anyone remember phone numbers anymore? Let's listen to an old sound from yesteryear. Huh, yeah, yeah, you could say that. Rule one, you don't talk about cherry aid. Now a lot of people struggle with the Buddhist concept of the third eye. And really, the mind gives you a dilemma, a false dilemma, a dichotomy, two choices. But you must always when you are presented with two choices from your mind, consider a third option. In this case, there are two third options. Go to both, or don't go there and go somewhere else. Or, do both and go somewhere else. See what I mean? It's the third eye. Five degrees Celsius in the wind is starting to bite. I guess that's why they call it the wind chill. Making me homesick for Wales. Seeing a beautiful castle like that. I feel like committing a crime in here. I know. Huh. Every man needs a shed. Now, you might think I don't have a shed, but have you seen my van? <laughs> Remember that crime I said I was going to commit? I'm actually prosecuting that very crime right now. Yeah, this is actually being through Parliament. That when you're out walking for less than an hour every day, <laughs> you can't sit down and chill, not even for five minutes. 
not even if you're old like me and therefore that risk group uh... it passes by there will they grasp me up the little snitches found the police there's a criminal at large I can't believe I'm still getting away with my brazen one-man crime wave. Mm. So I'm now leaving the scene of the crime, but I've got to be careful not to make that crucial mistake most criminals make, is when they see the police investigating to come back and look like they're just an innocent <coughs> bystander. Huge pieces of flint. Looks like we're about to come full circle. Unless that is, I am completely lost. Why would the Masons meet in a building made of brick? I mean, you'd think they know how to work stone, wouldn't you? Lovely old Bailey caravan. Remember them? That is brutal. <laughs> well, I might have to confess that I am lost. But that's the great thing about recording your day on a camera phone is if you get lost, forget where you park your car, you can just sort of play it back, get your bearings again. It's like laying down pieces of virtual string. Don't argue, come to blows. Yes, I see what you've done there. I've been noticing that a few videos haven't really been receiving enough views, so I invite you cordially to watch one of these. Three. Subscribe there if you haven't. See you in the next one, be your old. Hey, <laughs> I wasn't lost. I was. Here's a little teaser for you, Rain on the Roof fans. <laughs>